amazing soul, a beautiful and a wonderful person. And then, uh, ladies and gentlemen, well, without wasting much of your time, I present to you my guest, Rita. Thank you. I want to say thank you to Superstrength Communication for having me. And thank you to my promoters, Great Dynamic Talent. Thank you for having me. All right, and she's not here alone. She's she's here with, um, you know, when you when you do good things, yeah, people would definitely rise up to support you, to appreciate what you're doing, to encourage you. So she's here with one of our support system. All right, may we meet you? Um, hi, um, thank you, Superscript, for having me here. My name is Okidia Di Debora, general manager of Spread and Talent. Promoter of Rita Whitney traveling to Mexico for the Miss um, Richie Award 2022. Mm. Okay. All right. So now, <clears throat> when I saw, so when I met Rita and I saw, I'm like, okay, this is this is good. This is good. By the by the way, you look beautiful. You look beautiful. I love that crown. I love that crown. Well, let's 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 move on. So um. At what age, right? At what age did you accept um, the condition or situation you found yourself and decided to move on? Like, you know what? This is me. Let's move on. Mm -hmm. At 14. 14. 14, yes. Mm. So before then, were there like discriminations from. Yes, there was uh, discrimination from a younger age. Out of teenagehood, all my life, all to this moment, I still discrimination and other things attached to it, mm. which is a um, lack like of architectural barrier, inaccessible place, um, attitudinal problem, and so on and so forth. So I grew up having my family letting me to know this is it, this is who you are, but this is not who you are, and this is what we want you to be. So mm. with the love being upon me and they nurtured me, they gave me the necessary things. I think that at that moment I just knew, okay, I can't work, but then come on now. I'm good to go, yeah. So shout out to your parents because I think that's where it all starts from, from the home. Yes. It starts from the home because once they, um, the home front, they accept it and then they push you and give you all the love that you want, that you desire, then with that you'll be able to have or develop or build that confidence in yourself to move on. All right, so election is around the corner. Have you got your PVC? Oh, yes. I actually worked for INEC. Uh, 2010, 2009, I was at the COPPA. So yeah. I registered people and I registered myself at Arima Land Local Government in Yanapaja. So I have my baby feet. So you're ready to go all out and vote? Oh, yes, because we want to be represented and we want to be heard as well. So we're all ready to vote. And I believe the voting system at INEC, they are working hand in hand with persons with disability. So we're ready to pass our votes. Okay, so um, as, as an ambassador of the People with Disability, PWD, how do you see your constituency and the and unity in Nigeria? Uh, I don't know say we're represented for Nigerians. We have a law, uh, disability law, for it's not well recognized, it's not proper implemented or at least legal states and some other states, they are taking recognition and they are doing their best and they will still do more. So I believe they are working towards it and we will get there. Mm, okay. So you, you said, you mentioned legal states doing... Um, in legal state because they are the first, I live in Lagos and they are the mm. first people to champion it. Starting mm. from um, Bode, starting from Fashola, uh, Tinubu. Mm. These are the people who championed uh, disability, then someone took over. They are doing well. So. Well, well in, in Nigeria as a whole, in Nigeria as a whole, this trying, they've made so many provisions. And then, uh, in what aspect or what area do you think they are lagging behind and they should try to? Work more. Barrier, structures, offices, home, the doors, entrance, the staircase, and transport system. Without transport, uh, accessible one, not just transport, mm -hmm. the one that will have a good mindset and calm spirit 
and a good spirited driver, a car designed to go uh, to home places to pick people with disability, not just the Uber and the boat ride because it's quite expensive. Ordinary person with disability cannot afford it. I came here with uh, 3,000 naira, so if I'm going, if there is surge and there about, I could pay four, five, six, seven, depends on where I'm going to, the distance and the traffic. So we need the um, accessible transport <coughs> system. Yes, then the accessibility access, the structures have to have elevator ramps and they have to make it accessible for people with disability in corporate organization, companies, industry and homes. Mm. Yeah. All right, so away from all of those now, let's come to Miss how the initiative, how did it start? When did it start? You were saying something about um, during the COVID-19 era. So how does it please run us through? Oh, okay. Miss Wheelchair World uh, International is an inclusive uh, project that has to deal with persons with disability on wheelchairs. Mm -hmm. And they started in 2017. We mm -hmm. have a winner, and mm -hmm. she won, and then she assisted. Then 2020 was supposed to have a birth. 2019, 20, and 21, the coronavirus, mm. um, you know, sad, actually messed up the whole thing. Bro. We had to have it conducted on social media, prayer, um, Facebook precisely, and other social media handles. And um, they conducted it, and we have Nigerians, uh, about seven percent, to place um, other people from other world, from Namibia, African countries were five. Um, okay. Ghanaians, yeah, um, Kenya, um, Tanzania, um, South Africa, and uh, Cameroon, but five uh, from African countries were chosen. Then other countries, Spain, um, Paris, um, other places, uh, Panama, um, America, uh, Mexico. Wow. It's a whole lot. We're about 27 countries mm. all over the world that are participating. So it's an international initiative. It's, it's, it's a beautiful one. It's a beautiful one. So this will make me to ask, like, have you done any campaign in communities so that people we know that there's ability in disabilities. Like, okay, this is a this is available for us. Let us delve into it so that we can make the best use of it. Heard, uh, the campaign starts from you and I. We're um, super straight. We're doing it, and at least we're here. Three or four people, including the mm. camera, we're all uh, components <laughs> of um, community. Mm. Yes, we started it. Then great uh, dynamics, talents started it, we have started it within ourselves, we've done some stuff and we're still here. We've not done enough, that's why we're here and we still go other places for everybody to get into it. You might say you don't have disabilities, none of your business, how about your relative, your friends, how about someday someone who is able to work end up not being able to work. So it's not just the beauty pageants per se, it is a campaign to say people with disability live and they exist, they want to be empowered, they want employment, they want um, every good thing necessarily for life, for someone to live life. So the campaign keep going, empowerment, investment for people with disability. So, yeah. All right, so great dynamics. I would like to ask, what were like the challenges you faced when you decided this is route? Um, um, like, let me start with Great Dynamics Talent is an organization rebooted for um, sourcing for talent in arts, sports, culture, and entertainment. And in doing this, um, we came um, in touch with Rito Philly through a friend who told us about her. We, we had to do some ground, ground checks on her and all that. And we saw that she's somebody that we can work with. Now, we actually um, had to key into um, a course in traveling to Mexico for the Miss Wheelchair 2020 in Mexico because we, 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 we discover that we have a lot of special people in Lagos. Let us use Lagos as a point of a case study. 
in Lagos, we uh, when we have them, the, the the room on the street, they think they can only end up by begging, by thinking they can't get to where they want to get to. Uh, we great dynamics talent want to use retail Philly to show to that community that you can actually become what you want to become. You can actually be great in whatever thing you can do, be it art, be it sports, be it entertainment, and the rest of it. In doing this, we, we, we discovered uh, there are a little bit um, inches in accessibility for somebody, a, a person with a, in a on wheelchair, and that is the only, uh, the fund, the, the accessibility for a, a dress code, she has to go on some dress code which are not what we can wear. The, there are structures, there are designs that has to be used on her. We, we, we went through all this and we, we said, yes, we are going to do it with her. We are in the right track with her and we know she's going to make it. Going to Mexico, right? Yeah. Um, have we raised enough money for that? No, no. That's why we're here. Mm, okay. So, um, um, to, 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 to make your contributions, because definitely it's not, it's not just um, Rita Ophili going out, it's Nigeria, right? So she's representing Nigeria and then supports donations from corporate bodies, individuals, please, it's all welcome. And then to do back, um, so um, now let me just, let me ask you this. This initiative, right, this, is it all about the female gender or it's both male and female? Females, women, girls, ladies. Okay, so what happens to the men? Don't worry, I'll mention that I am from Mexico. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, please, do us well to make your donations and contributions to Great Dynamic Talent. Um, account number is one zero two five one two one zero three one. I'll call that again. One zero two five one two one zero three one, and it's um, the bank name is UBA. So please, please do well to support and encourage Rita. Because once you encourage her, other people want to see they'll be like, okay, yes. People can come out of their shell. Some people are still home, they are shy. They don't want to come out because they feel um, this community or the society is not accepting us. But when they see this, they know that, okay, we can now come out and that they can be themselves. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rita. Um, how can we find you? Um, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram? social media. You're everywhere. Everywhere. YouTube, I am Rita Offley. LinkedIn, Rita Offley. Twitter, Rita Offley. One. Facebook, I am Rita Offley Official. I am Rita Offley underscore official. A great dynamic talent on Instagram. And Facebook, Rita Offley. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming to the studio today. Um, final words to people out there?
Thank you. Um, from you, ma'am. Um, it's. I want to say it is time for us to encourage people with special ability who has talent, different um, sector of life and platforms. Retail Philly is going to be a point of contact, and I want, and I plead, and I, I, I want to see the old Nigerians to please come to the aid of Retail Philly, encourage her to become what she wants to become. She is a queen, and I know she's a queen, and she can represent our, our community. Let us encourage her. Great dynamics, talent, is with her. Thank you very much, Super Screen, for having us here today. All right. God bless us all. Thank you very much. Um, on this note, is where we'll draw the curtains, and I'll say thank you, thank you so much for keeping it a day with us till I come your way again. From me to you, it is to have an amazing, amazing week and amazing month. Peace out.